Okay, hi guys, this next clip is basically me going over the power supply issues I had. Um, I have a Corsair 860i, which in most situations is more than enough power for anything. But running two R9 390s is a bit more power hungry than I expected. And obviously with it being X99 and overclocking the shit out of both sets of things, it pulls more power than Belgium. So I think I topped out at about 1000 watts from the wall with the uh, processor overclocked to 4.4 and the graphics card is running at I think it was 1210 on the core and 1700 on the memory and basically it was hitting 1000 watts from an 860 watt power supply it, continuously in gaming so obviously that's not good. So what do you want to be doing? So I had an old OCZ 1200 watt power supply which I switched in, which you'll hear in the next clip. And basically I've never pulled anything like half the power of it, never mind have it set at 1000 watts. And it basically screamed like a bitch. The next video you hear is basically that OCZ power supply coil whining to hell. It sounded like it was going to explode, so yeah. I don't even know if OCZ make power supplies anymore because it did have a five year warranty on it however I think I'm probably just outside of that and that's the way it goes but yeah this was an epic pain in the arse. I think eventually I am going to end up getting rid of the two R9 390s because a thousand watts on a gaming system is a bit much. Anyway here's the video, hope you like it. So. I'm benchmarking and I've had to change the power supply in this because the Corsair 860i, the EX860i, I was actually pulling about a thousand watts through it. And so yeah, that's not good. So I had the OCZ ZX series, a 1250 watt power supply, which has never had anything like a thousand watts pulled out of it, but I don't know if you can actually hear on the camera mic oil whine from it is absolutely cracking insane. It's, it, it makes it pretty much unusable so I'm gonna need to get another power supply. Okay, this I just need to do in the meantime but um, it's a consideration I hadn't thought because based on Corsair's website when you put in basically that you're using a Haswell E 5000 series and three R9 290Xs which are pull pretty much the same amount of power as these cards do and you tell them you're putting 30% overclock on the processor and also you're overclocking the graphics cards uh, apparently you can run 3 way R9 290Xs at the Haswell E and still be within the rating of that power supply so according to Corsair's like system configurator it recommends 860i. I can honestly tell you that uh, you're probably going to kill that power supply pretty quick if you try to run 3 way SLI on it because say 2 R9 390s overclocked to 1200 MHz in the core and 1700 in the memory and overclocked CPU to uh, I think I had it set to 4.4 at the time uh, yeah, you're pulling like just under a thousand watts. So something worth considering. Uh, I never thought I was going to be pulling that much power, especially when they said it would do three-way SLI and R9 290Xs. So yeah, something worth considering. You can probably still hear the coil whining on the background. Anyway, just something worth considering. <laughs> 